Hi, greetings of the day, welcome to Dr. D. Watt Padilla Texas Sages Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology Pune 33. This presentation is done by Professor Arvind K. Soundcombly. We are going to learn about bakery and confectionery today. Chapter number 1. Introduction to Bakery and Confectionery. Chapter 1. Introduction to Bakery and Confectionery. What we will learn. Definitions. Principles of baking. Bakery equipment. Formulas and measurements. Physical and chemical changes during baking. 1.1 Definitions. What is bakery? It is a term related to those products which are made by flour, shortening, sugar, egg, water or milk and leavening, which are cooked in dry environment of heat, baked. What is confectionery? It referred to a wide array of sweetened dishes, including preserve of fruits in syrups or jellies, candies, wine and liqueurs. What is baking? It is cooking method where food is kept in the hot oven where it is cooked by convection heat provided by the surrounded hot air. 1.2 Principles of Baking Always preheat ovens so that the required baking temperature is immediately applied to the product, otherwise the product will be spoiled. Accuracy is essential in weighing, measuring and controlling temperature. Trays and molds must be correctly prepared, lined and stood. Minimize the opening of the oven doors as draft may affect the quality of the product. Utilize the oven space efficiently. Avoid jarring of products before and during the baking as the quality may be affected. In general, oven shelves must be kept according to the food bearing baked, because the hotter part of the oven is at the top. The required oven temperature is reached, before each batch of goods is placed in the oven. This is known as recovery time. 1.3 Bakery Equipment Dash Small Equipment Tools for accurate measuring dash weighing scales can measure accurately both dry and liquid ingredients. Make sure you measure only ingredients and not the container holding the ingredients. Set an empty container in the scale to zero before measuring the ingredients. 2. Measuring Glass Measure liquid and pourable ingredients such as milk. They are marked with lines to show amounts. Measuring Cups Used for measuring dry ingredients. Standard set includes one quarter, three quarters, half, and one cup measuring spoon, includes measures of one tablespoon and one teaspoon. B. Tools for cutting, peeling and juicing knives, used for chopping, slicing and mincing checks knife have 8 to 10 inch blade, utility knife have 5 7 inch blade and paring knife have 2 to 4 inch blade. Serrated knife is used for slicing breads and cakes bench scrapers. A 6-inch rectangular steel blade with wooden or plastic handle used to soft ingredients like or cheese also used to lift and turn soft or wet doughs as as you need them. Graters, stainless steel surface with many perforations. Used to zest, grate, shave and shred. Biscuit and cookie cutter, made up of metal or plastic, edges are sharp enough to cut pastry or cookie dough they comes in variety of shapes and sizes. See tools for mixing and transferring foods. Wooden spoon, hardwood such as boxwood, beechwood and olive wood are highly regarded because they are less likely to split or crack. Woods do not conduct or transfer heat. Metal spoon, solid, slotted or perforated spoon are used to scrape, scoop and serve baked items. Wire whisk, made from 2 to 20 wires. Balloon whisks incorporate a great deal of air. Rubber spatula, used for stirring and folding batters. Pointed edge is useful for getting into pan corners. 5. Tongs, have two arms attached by spring made up of stainless steel. They make it easy to lift and turn foods. 6. Ladles, help to scoop and measure liquids. Size can range from 1 to 2 ounces. 7. Palette knives, Long metal blade with blunt edge good for spreading, fillings, icings and glazes. D. Appliances and molds, pans. 1. Load pans and tins, rectangular pans used for simple cakes and quick breads. They are available in metal, glass and ceramic with or without non-stick coating. Pie pans and tins, 
sloped sides and are made from aluminium, glass or earthenware. Tart tins, made with tin steel or ceramic, have short, often scalloped sides and removable bottom they may be round, square or rectangular. Cake pans, made up of tinned steel, aluminium, glass or silicon, normally round in shape with 8 inch diameter. 5. Springform pans, consists of hinged ring that damp around a removable base. They are used for baking delicate cakes. Tube pans, have center tube of metal that conducts heat through center of the batter. It helps to bake heavy batter evenly without over browning. Baking sheets, provides flat baking surface. A standard cookie sheet measure 13 to 16 inches. Rolling pins, stretch dough and pastries into thin sheets. They can be made up of wood, marble, metal etc. 9. Pastry brush, used to apply a gouache, brush crumbs from cake tops. They are made up of nylon or unbleached hog bristles. 10. Pastry wheels, round blades mounted on handle. As you roll the blade over the pastry dough, they make single clean cut. 11. Piping bag, used to add filling to pastries such as eclairs and used to make cookies like macaroons. Saudi pans, saucepans and pots, these are also used for various purposes. Large equipments. 1. Convection ovens. Where forced air circulation within the oven is accomplished by means of motor-driven fan, the rapid air circulation ensures even temperature distribution to all parts of the oven. Where low velocity, high volume air movement is provided by a power blower and duct system. A combination of standard oven and a forced convent designed to operate as by the flick of switch. A single roll and rack convection oven with heating element and fan housed outside the cooking area. An 18-shelf mobile oven rack makes it possible to roll the filled rack directly from the preparation area into oven. 2. Combination Oven The special features of combination ovens are Reduce cooking times as they are new versions coming up with more efficient features. Fully automatic enable desired browning levels and exact temperature to be achieved as they are digitally operated. Just feed in the instructions that's it. Self-cleaning function makes it very user-friendly. A combination oven system will allow more food to be produced in less space and less time. Energy efficiency as reaches to the desired temperature frequencies quickly. Increased productivity in bulk and also different products at one time. Smoking ovens. Smoking certain foods is a means of cooking, infusion of different flavors with smoke and preserving as well in many aspects. Smoking ovens or cabinet are well insulated with controlled heating elements on which wood chips are placed. Different types of wood chips give different flavors. Orthodox way. As the wood chips burns, the heated smoke permeates the food, fish, chicken, sausages etc., which is suspended in the cabinet smoking chambers. 3. Microwave oven. Microwave is a method of cooking and heating food by using high frequency power type of cooking is radiation, by producing electromagnetic rays. The waves distributes the molecules or particles of foods and agitate them, thus causing friction which has the effect of heating the food. Foods being cooked by microwave needs no fat or external moisture. Metal is not used, as the microwave rays are reflected to it and can be hazardous, therefore, food is placed in a glass, earthenware, particular plastic or specific type of paper. The oven door is fitted with special seals to ensure that there is minimum leakage of the rays. 1.4 Formulas and Measurements Unit of Measurement The above table tells, measured units, conversions and equivalents and their abbreviations. Important Formulas 1. Percent of ingredient equals total weight of ingredients multiplied by 100 divided by total weight of flour. 2. Degree centigrade equals Fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 divided by 9. 1.5 Physical and chemical changes during baking. Formation and expansion of gases. The gases primarily responsible for leavening baked goods are carbon dioxide, which is released by the action of yeast. Baking powder, 
baking soda or air which is incorporated into dough and batter during mixing, and steam which forms during baking. As product is heated the gas expands and leavens the product. 2. Trapping of gases in air cells. As the gases are formed and expand, they are trapped in a stretchable network formed by the proteins in the dough in addition of water. Those proteins are gluten and sometimes egg protein if added. 3. Gelatinization of starches. The starches absorb moistures, expands and become firmer. This contributes to structure, it gelatinizes at 65 degrees Celsius. 4. Coagulation of protein. Like all protein, gluten and albumin, egg protein coagulates or solidify when reach high temp. This process gives structure to most baked products forming a skeleton. Coagulation began at 75 degrees Celsius. If too high coagulation starts soon before expansion of gases, resulting product with poor volume. If too low proteins will not coagulate soon and product may collapse. 5. Evaporation of some of the water. If specific weight of product is needed, some allowance must be made for moisture loss, when scaling dough. 6. Melting of shortening. Different shortening melt and releases gases at different temperature, so proper shortening should be selected. 7. Crust formation and browning. A crust is formed as water evaporates from the surface and leaves it dry. Browning occurs when sugar caramelizes, starches and sugar undergo certain chemical changes caused by heat known as Maillard reaction which contributes to flavor and color.